Hello everyone, <clears throat> I just wanted to update you on a uh, little coil winder I built with just some stuff laying around. I saw this on windstuff.com and uh, just clicked on the products page and they have download download PDF file on their products and stuff like that. So, so this is my little version of uh, my coil winder. Uh, you can see that I can make spacers any gap I want and any kind of triangular configuration I want. As you can see here I can make you know bigger coils, smaller coils, thinner coils, whatever I need to do. And it's pretty handy. I kind of softened up the edges here so it catches the wire as it goes around. You can see that here. And I have smaller spacers, I have larger spacers, and you can get those at Home Depot. You can get large spacers and then cut them down. Just make sure that all three spacers are the right size. You can sand them down or whatnot. It's easy to take apart. I have these butterfly nuts that just tighten it all up. Everything's adjustable, up and down, side to side and uh, make just about any size coil I need. I took the uh, just a piece of aluminum drilled some holes in it for my hand crank and you see it works out pretty good. So off we go with some more stuff. So I, I just have to clean it up here all the inside stuff. A little burrs but uh, that's it. Good luck on building your own simple coil winder. Okay? And of course this nut here to hold it all in place. As soon as I get that out of the way, there we go. That just buttons it up. And the reason why it's T-shaped and I ground down in here so when the coil is done, I just slip my tape through, tape it up, pull it apart. Works perfect. So good luck on that, and talk to you guys later. Bye.